Hey there, this is Dr. Falcon, and today I'm going to review the Slide It keyboard, which is a swipe or tracing style keyboard for Android OS devices. Um, currently, there is a, I believe, 14 or 15 day trial of Slide It on the Android market. You can buy the full version for about $6. Um, unlike traditional QWERTY style uh, predictive text keyboards, the way that Slide It and other competitors like the Ultimate Keyboard or Swipe, uh, the way that these keyboards operate is you trace the word and then the software that runs the keyboard is smart enough to try to figure it out. So for example, if I want to write my blog name, I would trace uh, gibberish is my native language. And the phone should figure it out, right? So, um, you know, I have been playing with this for a little bit over a week and it does take some adjustment one of the things that I had a hard time struggling with was keeping uh, both fingers off the keyboard. I'm used to that predictive QWERTY style tap typing. And I actually think that the real strength of uh, Slide It and other equivalent keyboards is in one-handed kind of portrait mode because really you're just limited to one thumb. And your dexterity and your precision uh, may suffer when you're using your device with one hand. So these swipe style keyboards or trace style keyboards are really helpful. In fact, I'm going to um, swipe out the word helpful just to show you how easy it is and I'm fairly clumsy with my dexterity. Um, you know, this style of keyboard may also be really helpful if you have large fingers and you have a hard time tapping. So it's pretty cool. You know, one of the other things that I really like about this keyboard is that you can easily switch between the slide it mode and the ABC tap style. Um, tap style mode. Which is nice when you have to maybe type something that's not in slide it's very extensive dictionary. Um, one of the things that the Slide It keyboard does with some irregularity is spacing between letters, and I don't really care for this. So sometimes, um, if I were to trace out the word when I type... Now, supposedly, according to my settings, it's supposed to auto-advance the cursor as if I were pressing space, but it doesn't do that unless I try to do a frowny face. And then for some reason, um, sometimes it will auto-advance, like there. See, there's actually a space. I don't understand why it does that. Maybe it's punctuation only. But then when I do um, a wink, it doesn't, right? So there's no space there. So it's a little inconsistent, and maybe that'll be fixed in a future version, but it's just one of my um, small nitpicks about this software. Now, another thing about the keyboard um, is that you can configure the keyboard to run different skins. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, just go into your settings. Board. Now the skin I'm using is called White Wolf. However, the the stock one looks like that. It's kind of nice, I guess. Not really super super fan of it. Um, the other one is the classic. I find a little bit easier to see or to perceive, but maybe not as um, good looking or modern. And then there's the gingerbread style, which is also bundled, which I really don't care for. It's hard to see on the video, but these are dark. Um, like I said, the um, this is a trial app. I'm still in my trial period, but I do intend to, to purchase this. It's about six dollars. There are some other things that um, supposedly it does that are somewhat the behavior is somewhat erratic, and I want to show you that real quick. And one is the use of phrases or um, tracing phrases. So, for example, "I love you" is I L U and then it should autocomplete for you, but it doesn't. And the reason is that it's got a built-in one called ILY, I love you, right? Which will auto-convert for you. Now I've made a custom um, setting for that, but it doesn't work. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it's too close or maybe I haven't set it up correctly. But I want to show you that in the settings, I've actually set up that um, shortcut and it just doesn't work. So, you know, if it's not super important um, for me, showing that the shortcuts are enabled, and it comes with a lot of pre-existing shortcuts, which I don't think I would ever use, like um, Get a Life or For Your Entertainment. But so here's the stock one, I-L-Y for I Love You, and here's the one that I created, I-L-U, which is the traditional kind of acronym for it, but it doesn't work. Um, I will say that in just day-to-day -day usage, I'm a little bit um, slower with the Slide It style keyboard, but I tend to be more 
accurate in the long term because of the prediction. I make fewer errors. So if you're a touch typer, this may be a little bit slower for you. Um, but if you're not a touch typer, this might actually increase your speed when you text or when you enter other information. Um, you know, it's pretty good. I would say in using it, it's fairly accurate. I'm going to do a hypothesize here. You can do some longer words like thermonuclear. Um, just from usage, you have to be careful. I got in this pattern where I really wanted to trace with a flourish and just trace to kind of the center of each key and that'll really help its accuracy. Most of the times when slide it was wrong it was my fault for being um, I don't want to say too flamboyant with the strokes but like a little bit too inaccurate. So if you do a measured pace if you swipe in a measured pace you'll actually be faster. Now here's an instance where swipe it um, wasn't, I'm sorry I uh, wasn't entirely sure what I was trying to pick here between piece and pace and then you just tap your appropriate letter and then hit the space bar. Um, I did just call it swipe it but the product name is slide it so you really just want to be measured um, when you trace words. So I definitely recommend it if you um, use your phone a lot for text entry and you don't have a physical keyboard uh, the Slide It keyboard is a really good value in my opinion. It is about five bucks on the market right now as of this recording. Uh, maybe it's six and I, I'm definitely planning on buying it. So thanks for watching my review on the Slide It keyboard for Android OS devices. And I really think this will be useful for tablets as well. Uh, so when I get my, uh, my Android tablet, I intend to use it on it. And I'll do a follow-up review with using the Slide It keyboard on an Android tablet device. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave a comment or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also feel free to uh, visit me at journal.drfalcon.com, which is right here at the bottom of your screen. And please leave a comment. Thanks.